All right, here's today's money-saving tip. In theory, we all know how important it is to have an emergency fund, but according to a recent survey, nearly 50% of Americans don't have enough saved to be able to cover an unexpected cost of $1,000, which raises a lot of questions of how do you actually create an emergency fund? Well, obviously not financial advice, here are a few tips. First, consider using a basic savings account or a money market account, ideally one that's linked to your checking account. You want the money accessible within the day, but not necessarily immediately. Two, you're gonna wanna hope for an account that actually pays you back, usually through some sort of an annual yield. Three, as a general rule, a lot of experts will tell you you want to save enough to cover three to six months of expenses, which is obviously a lot more than $1,000. Which brings me to four, which is simply start small. A lot of us get very easily overwhelmed with the idea of needing three to six months worth of expenses in a savings account, so we end up not doing anything at all. But the reality is you might need that account tomorrow, and you might not need it for a few years. So you want to start small, even if it's only $50 or $100 a month put towards that account. And five, only actually go into that account when it's an emergency. It can be really tempting to go into it early if you need or want something, but a lot of experts will say, don't and finally, in terms of maintaining that fund, once you hit the threshold that you want, if for some reason, like an emergency, you have to use it, make sure you're replenishing the money that you take out. That way you're ensuring that you're always going to have that fund. Of course, on replenishing, it's not something that you can replenish immediately or else you wouldn't have had to go into the emergency fund in the first place. So you have to think of maintaining that account as almost like starting over with sort of a slow and steady process. Again, most of us don't like thinking about this and hopefully most of us won't need it. But it's like my kids always say, it's better sorry than safe. I know that it's safe and sorry, but they haven't gotten that yet. So, you know, it's a work in progress.